when I when I found out that I was pregnant, like so, I found out in June or July during World Team Tennis, like I said. And then when I looked at my schedule, because you have to think like this was during COVID, so we were still in the bubble, right? It was 2020. So Cincinnati, mm-hmm. that was the year that Cincinnati and the U.S. Open were both held in the US bubble Open. at Flushing. So I was like, okay, well, this is my schedule. Like I had a couple of weeks before. I didn't play anything leading up to uh, leading up to Cincinnati, but I played. Was I was playing on playing Cincinnati then the U.S. Open because I'm like, well, it's all the same place. And so, um, yeah, I was just like, I went and I, I did all the tests, and I'm like, can I play? He's like, yeah, you're good. I was like, cool. But it was weird because I was like, I didn't want anyone to know, so I was hiding mm-hmm. it. So like, I'm throwing up before getting on the bus, mm-hmm. and like, it was just terrible. Like, you know, just I was just trying to stay far away and just, you know, whatever. Thought you were like but, COVID. Um, nah, I, knew, I knew what I had. No, nah, I knew what I had. No, you had a baby. <laughs> but I told my doubles partner, I told Asia, I was like, I brought her to my room uh, and I said, girl, I need to tell you something. I said, uh, I ain't going to be practicing that much. I don't got a lot of energy. I need you to carry the weight, okay? I said, my ass is over here struggling. I can't breathe. I'm a, I'm a call, I'm a call you daddy this week. Yeah, exactly. Call me. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, but it ended up like, you know, we sat in my room and like I cried and we cried together. And she was like, all right, I got you. And I was like, all right, cool. And then we made the semis of the US Open. So then, oh. so I made semis. You made semis while pregnant. You like, yeah, you like I, Serena damn, Junior. I should get pregnant more often. <laughs> yeah. Like Serena Hell Junior. no. I uh yeah me- <laughs> that means the US Open three months pregnant so I was like all right I'm cool to like walk away like this so I was like mm-hmm. I'm cool but like I already I had already knew like I was gonna train my whole pregnancy like as long as I could you know everything was like as long as I can as long as I can but actually it was in it was amazing because going into like that Cincinnati US Open bubble all of like I told you guys, like I've always put like expectations and stuff on my, all of that shit was gone. I felt so free. I felt so relaxed. And I was like, I can just go play because I'm about to be gone. Okay. I was like, well, it's just the mindset. I was just like, you can't I'm about do it, to be gone. <laughs> y'all don't be Stop out here excited. You can't don't, do that. No, no. I would be scared. If it happened to me, I'd be scared. It'd be the opposite. <laughs> y'all be out here slinging, slinging. I wouldn't, I wouldn't would sleep. I would have sleep for months. I ain't advocating that. Like I said, it was an accident. But uh, <laughs> if there's anything, I was just to learn. I was like, you know, it just released, like, it just allowed me to just be free. And I was mm. just like, but I had already knew. I was like, I'm going to come back. But the thing that I said, I was like, when I come back, I'm going to be better than I was when I left. That's the only thing that I said to myself. And I said that to my sure. team. I didn't know what the fuck that meant. But I was like, and I'm I'm being honest, like I really didn't know what that meant. I didn't know how much work that was going to take. Because again, I've been at a certain level and it was a lot of like mental deconstruction, <laughs> like a lot. So, mm-hmm. but I was just like, I was committed to it because I was just like, I refuse. This is just the kind of person I am. I was like, I refuse to leave and come back the same person. And like, you know, have this completely different experience and and treat this domain the same like I'm not gonna do that it's going to be I will make this a different experience you know than it has yeah. been for however long that I've been playing and it was so that was my mindset and it was so interesting because like even when I saw Naomi in Indian Wells we we're in the locker room and that was the first time that I had seen her like in person since having her baby and all the the women that have their kids and come back, like I always make it a thing to like go and congratulate them for like making it back. I'm like, I understand this shit's fucking hard. Like, and it's very easy. All of the women who have had kids and came back could have easily been like, yeah, I'm good. Like they've accomplished enough to where they didn't need to. Like you didn't have to come back, <laughs> but you mm-hmm. decided to. So like, yeah. I really, I really on purpose, like commend them be like, salute. Cause this shit is hard. Um, you know, just even just a physical stuff, like not even taking into consideration, like you have another human that you're responsible for and like all that yeah. stuff, just like the self shit is hard. And when I talked to her, I was just like, you know, I'm really happy to see, now granted, like I have barely spoken to Naomi in my life, like not lots of words, not on purpose, but like we just never spoke. 
And so mm-hmm. I like made it a thing where I was just like, hey, like, I'm really happy to see you back out here. Like, it's amazing. Like, congratulations. Well done. You know, all this stuff. I was like, how do you feel? Like, mentally, how do you feel? Like, how do you feel like coming back into the tournaments and like playing and stuff like that? And she was just like, I feel great. But she was like, it's just really weird that I'm coming back a different person. And this is still the same. Yeah. So okay. it was it was very interesting to hear someone of her, like that's accomplished the things that she's accomplished to say that, because, again, it kind of alluded to what I said, like, I'm not going to come back the same person. And she didn't come back the same person, but entering into something where it is the same shit. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's difficult because like the cycle still goes on the same. You guys went out and came yeah. back in, but the cycle is still the same. And so you have to learn then in your new self to how to <laughs> One adjust and, change. and fit Sorry. to fit. <laughs> Unnecessary. To fit. Unnecessary. <laughs> but you have to learn how to fit, you know, and how to make this new this thing fit yeah. when it's, you know. It fit when you were your old you, but now that you're your new self, like it's, it doesn't feel right. So then you have to learn how to adjust. So it's um, it's been a super cool process just mentally and, and honestly, like me as a person, like I honestly couldn't imagine like not having him. Like it's been the best thing ever. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the clip. The full episode will be in the link down below. Go check it out and check out all of our other episodes in the past. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos.